I know that you've been playing, you've played at festivals all across Europe and across the U.S. Yes. And then you yes, made yes. it, then you made it to Des Moines, Iowa. So I was just wondering, is there anything you try to bring to possibly smaller venues than you would somewhere else at a larger, a larger city? Yeah, I mean, I think when we play smaller venues and it's our show and it's not a festival, we kind of have the opportunity to cultivate more of a theatrical experience from start to finish and we're not under a certain time limit when it's our show and, you know, we can bring friends and have our own opener and kind of make it the Edward Sharp world as opposed to just at festivals you have 45 minutes and you're on and off and, like, there's no messing around. And so I think when it's our own show, it's a little more personal. But I think 8035 is a festival, so it will kind of be that quick, quick on and off thing. So it does, it does differ then from a normal performance, even if, even in that, even as you said, that just you don't have the chance to cultivate it as much as you would otherwise. Yeah, I mean, there's just so many bands that need to play, so you can't really take all the time in the world and also all the people there aren't there to see you when it's your show you know everyone there is there to see you so it's a very personal interaction between audience and performer but when it's festival it's a little more like uh, some people know you and some people hear you for the first time so um it is kind of a different experience not not better or worse mm -hmm. just different do you look forward to the chance to you know to reach out to new people who maybe who haven't heard i'm sure everyone's heard you at this point but people who hadn't been as interested in your music before? Oh, yeah. I mean, I think that's one of the benefits of festivals. Especially when we played in Europe, pretty much nobody had heard of us. But it's a great way to reach people who are there to see a band who's completely different from you. And maybe, you know, and maybe they'll be into a new kind of music. And I'm excited to play there because I grew up in Iowa, but I have never heard of this festival, so... Oh, you grew up in Iowa? It, yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. I thought you were from the West Coast. No, I think that's why I they chose me to do this interview. <laughs> <laughs> Which part of I are you from? I grew up in Grimes, but I went to Johnston High School. Okay, now is that, that's in Des Moines, right? Or near Des Moines? It's near Des Moines. Do you know where, like, Urbandale is or anything yes. like that? Yes. There's, like, Johnston and Urbandale. It's, like, 20 minutes outside of Des Moines. Oh, Okay. Right. Well, yeah, that must be great then that you get to come back um, to Iowa. Yeah, we, we played there once before, but it was before anyone knew who we were. So I think it'll be a better experience this time. No, I think 8035 is a decently or recently created venue. So, I, what, yeah. I mean, for just in, on a personal level, what does it mean that you get to come back? Because it's near your hometown. It must be a exciting experience or the thought well, must be great. Yeah, it's cool to see all of my friends who I haven't seen in forever. Um, I think we're all very different people now than we were in high school, but it's still nice to catch up with them and, and see what everyone's doing and see all their babies. And um, so, yeah, I'm excited to see everybody. When did you When did you graduate? It wasn't that long ago, was it? No, I I did uh, I left for California before the end of high school, so I left when I was a sophomore. Okay. Um, so that wasn't that long ago, but long enough to the point where, because I went to UCLA after that, so it's been a while. And then when you are at a festival, going back to that a little bit, do you feel like each one turns about, out to be unique in its different way? We, you know, you've already said that you don't have the opportunity to create your own show, to build your own show, but does each one turn out differently, even within that shorter set? Each... Each, show festi or no, each festival song? that you attend. Each festival? Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah, I mean, they're all a little inherently a little different. Mm -hmm. I'd say they're more similar than the shows are, just because the setup, the schedule is very rigid. Um, but yeah, they're all a little different, and the audience is always a little different depending on what kind of music festival it is. We've played at all different kinds. We've played at, like, hip-hop festivals, country festivals. You know, we've played a bunch of different kinds of festivals. So I, I find that the type of music inherently means that the crowd is different. You know what I mean? 